Child safety is the latest serious issue to descend into a political argument at budget estimates. As well as scrutiny about the death of children in care, the minister was criticised for not working on a Saturday. It's Shannon Fentiman's job to oversee Queensland's child safety system and face scrutiny about it at estimates. Last Sunday, she was at work. The day before, to the opposition's indignation, she went to a music festival at Byron Bay. Minister, how is your partying at Byron boosting the morale of your frontline child safety officers? Last weekend, like most weekends, I worked. As I've said before, in these jobs, you never stop working. The LNP then brought up the death of toddler Mason Jet Lee in light of broader statistics about child safety investigations. The attempt by some members opposite to link the tragic death of Mason Lee is irresponsible. We Mason all Lee's one of five deaths. No, mem we member for Madrabar. The minister says new investigation teams will improve the department's performance. In fact, our child protection reforms are on track. Mason I Lee will continue. Member for Madrabar. Member for Madrabar. The sensitive issue of child safety deserved serious attention and estimates, but again, the debate degenerated in the heat and noise of parliamentary politics. Interruptions outnumbered questions and answers. We all have a responsibility to uphold... Member for Caloundra, Member for Caloundra, yes, I've asked you to cease interjecting. You have no point of order. Joanne Miller was also back at estimates to quiz her own government about child safety, but there was a quick detour down George Street to police headquarters to follow through on her allegation that the former Health Minister Lawrence Springborg misled estimates three years ago about when a decision was finalised to close the Barrett Youth Mental Health Centre. I filed a complaint in relation to Section 57 of the Criminal Code, uh, which is about lying to the Queensland Parliament. There's no comment from Mr Springborg. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.